like mine. But much smaller and meaningless. As top student, it's my duty to tell you to keep at it. Even you could get a passing grade someday. Abomination, cower. <laughs> See you in class, superstar. Don't listen to them, Willow. We can do this. Uh, abomination? Rice! <laughs> ah, Ta-da! <gasps> abomination, bow. <laughs> Very impressive. But does it speak? Uh, I may be your abomination, but you're my abomination. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Abomination! Splendid wordplay. A plus. Yay! 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 Yeah! Hey, do humans eat PB and J's? Oh my gosh, I haven't eaten real food in so long. Please give me some. I don't know, Gus. If Amity saw that, I saw that. Abominations don't eat. I know you're in there! You can't hide from me! What are you? Who are you? I want answers! Amity Blight! Huh? I suspected a twinge of jealousy, but this... This is just sad. But I... No! Look at it! <laughs> Report to Principal Bump's office. Uh, but... Now! <laughs> So fast! I'm not letting you get away so easily. I want my badge! Abomination! Please! <laughs> 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 oh, what about Amity? Last we saw, she was asking Bunk if today could count as extra credit. Well, I can't wait to see you in action next time I sneak in. But only the best can ascend these ranks. Someday that could be one of you. <laughs> but we haven't even taken the quiz to determine our coven type. Ooh, a punky potion this. Ooh, watch where you're. Oh, it's you, Willow's abomination thing. Ah, uh, hey, Amity. So, funny story. Not an abomination. Sorry for the confusion last week. I I'm Luce, the human. Hi. Uh, put that away. You're the one that got me in trouble with Principal Bump, and I never get in trouble. Well, to be fair, you were okay with him trying to dissect me, so... You can't be here! This convention is for witches only. Well, I'm learning how to be a witch. I'm receiving magic lessons from a powerful witch and a ferocious demon. Is that your ferocious demon there? Cupcakes in my tummy tum make the king say yummy yum. So will you join the baker's coven? Hmm, <laughs> nope. Oh, hey, Luce, look at all these offerings. <laughs> <gasps> Oops, that was an accident. Why are you being so mean, Amity? Because you and your pet are giving witches in training a bad name. I am not a pet. He's a very good boy and the king of demons. I'll tell you what, Amity. It's one thing to say I can't be a witch, because you can't. But it's another thing to bully my friends. Just like the good witch Azura said when facing down her rival Hecate at the bog of immediate regret, I challenge you to a witch's duel. <gasps> <gasps> I accept. Let's set the terms for this duel, shall we? One, if I win, you apologize to King for squashing his cupcake. Good night, sweet child. And two, you admit that humans can be witches too. Fine by me. But when I win, not only do you have to tell the whole convention you're not a witch, you have to stop training forever. Do it, Luce! For my honor! Fine, let's shake on it. The everlasting oath is sealed. That's probably fine. Meet back inside the theater in one hour. Let's see what kind of witch you are. King, I could win this, right? Uh, 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 uh. Hmm? Oh yeah, no. 
Is that a challenge? Oh, it's a promise. Ida, I need your help. I accidentally challenged Amity to a witch's duel, and I think she's going to kill me all the way dead. Hmm, it seems your student has met my strongest protege. And look at those ears. Is she human? <laughs> Where did you even find one of these? Okay, Edelin. For one day, you won't have to hide from the law, because I want to see how good a teacher you really are. Come on, kid. Time to prepare for bloodshed. But whose blood? Anyone's guess! <laughs> Beloved citizens, the Emperor's Coven proudly presents an impromptu demonstration of the sort of which we seek every year. Introducing Amity Blight. Woo! Amity! Versus... Some human girl. A human? Humans can't do magic! She's not Amity! Ida, what am I going to do? Calm down. You see those mounds? Get Amity to land on one of those, and she'll set off my magic traps. That's cheating! Nobody'll know. To all eyes up there, it'll look like you're performing magic. Just trust me. But I will know in my heart. Even if I win now, I lose. That's the spirit. Abomination! Rock! Show me what you got, human. I'm not good on the record! How did you do that? I, uh, magic? that time you didn't use your hands what are you getting at not dying <laughs> this i gotta see go amity hey you root for loose or nobody <laughs> ah! how are you doing that no amity don't step any closer why, Luz? What happens if I step closer? Ah! Oof! Ah! Hmm? I'm okay! Spikes? I knew it! You were cheating! Amity, no! Oh, Ida, I do believe this means you lose. Mm. It wasn't my idea to cheat, and when I found out, I tried to stop it, but... Who could believe anything you say? Wait just a sec, Ms. Protégé. Hey, what are you... <sighs> a power glyph from the Construction Coven. <gasps> I mean, I knew it. She cheated. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. You cheated. Perfect Prissy Lilith cheated. Hot dang, I love conventions. I only la, did that because la, I knew la, you would cheat. La, still cheated. Welcome down to my level. But I didn't know. Amity, wait. Luz! Help me! <laughs> my offerings! You'll get more offerings, King. Hey, wait for me! Amity, I'm sorry. <laughs> Seriously, just leave me alone. I didn't mean to embarrass you. That's all you ever do, first at school and now this. Yeah, but you made me look like a fool in front of the Emperor's Coven, my future. You think it's so easy to be a witch. I have been working my whole life to get to the top. You lost, you cheated, say it, say you're not a witch. I'm not a witch. But I'm training hard to be one. That's nothing. A child could do a light spell. But 
I've never seen it cast like that. It doesn't come naturally to me like it does for you, so I've had to improvise. <sighs> The oath is unbound. Did it work? Can I still learn magic? Humans have no magical ability, but I doubt that'll stop you. <laughs> Amity's having a moonlight conjuring and invited everyone but me. And she keeps posting about it on her Instagram account. It's conjuring night. No dorks allowed. What a jerk. <laughs> Sorry you couldn't get an invite to The Conjuring, Willow. Only a real witch is allowed. Uh, leave her alone. It's not her fault she was born without talent. Whoa. Don't waste your time getting thorny over them. Because we are going to have our own Moonlight Conjuring. We should follow her to Amity's house to show off our conjuring. That'll show her who's got no talent. Actually, I'm starting to think we should head back. Amity's updating her Pinstagram. Shout out to my fellow witches. Hashtag humans can bite it. <gasps> Let's do it. You know, I still kind of wish we got to show up, Amity. Yeah, too bad no one will know of our daring adventures. Ugh, so what if we couldn't move a doll? Now we have time for what really matters. Pinstagram! <gasps> what? What do you think you're doing? Ah, I've been caught! Pretend to be a book! <laughs> Wait. We're your friends, and we want to help, said the tin boy with a yelp. Odebin smiled and paced the floor. I've never had real friends before. Amity reading to kids? Then we'll be your first, the chicken witch clucked. Odebin couldn't believe his luck. So bookmaker Odebin, surrounded by friends, bound a book of friendship. And that's the end. <laughs> Amity seems so nice and smiley. <gasps> Maybe I can befriend her like Azura befriended her rival. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye, Miss Amity. Thank you. Thank you, Braxis. See you next time. <laughs> Ugh, you. Amity! Whoop. Reading to kids! Wow! Looks like this sour lemon drop has a hidden sweet center. It's for extra credit. Don't get your leggings in a bunch. Hey, I could help with the kids. We could take turns reading and do voices. I do the best monster voice. Human! Do you see me going to the owl shack and bugging you while you fry up owls? Ugh. Okay, I don't really know what you do there, but every time you come near me, I get in trouble. Just leave me alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. So much for befriending rivals. You gonna let her get to you like that? Who are you? Well, wishers on a mission. A noble quest. Watch this. Hey, Mittens! <laughs> Mom says stop forgetting your lunch. And stop being a jerk to your friend. <clears throat> she is not my friend. Yeah, makes sense. She seems too cool for you. I am? You can leave now, all of you! <laughs> <laughs> We're Amity's older siblings. We heard how you embarrassed her at the school and at the witch convention last week. No wonder she hates you. I know, but I didn't mean any of it. I thought we were as cool as cucumbers, but we're as sour as pickles. Don't waste your time with mittens. Me and Ed, we're way more fun. Follow us. Amity's <laughs> 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 even madder at me now. I didn't think that was possible. No, nah, when mittens gets mad, she looks like this. <gasps> Whoa. I almost passed out. You're pretty fun, human. So, hey, we're coming back tonight. There's a certain book we forgot to check out. And bonus, rumor has it the Wailing Star is supposed to unlock some rare magical event. You in, friend? Sure. Great, meet back here at midnight. See you, Luz. Bye! This is great. 
First I befriend the siblings, then I befriend the Amity. Ah! <laughs> Almost passed out. I saw that human girl again. The diary. I may have overreacted. I don't want to come off as cruel. I just can't show weakness. No. What have you got there, Luz? Oh, n nothing. Just a good witch is or a five where she goes through her goth phase. Huh? Ah. Luz, were you hiding this from us? You see how she treats people and how she treats you. I know Amity can be kind of cold, but no one deserves this. These are private thoughts. Let's put it back. <laughs> She needs this! It's for her own good! Oh, I wish I had somewhere to go. Why won't the human leave me alone? I called my teacher mom again. Uh, sorry I haven't written for a while. Wait, why am I apologizing? God, I wish I had somewhere to go. Human leave me alone. Really? Uh, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> you two are the worst. But you? I've been trying to figure out what your deal is. Are you a poser, a nerd? I know. You're a bully, Luce. Amity! <laughs> <laughs> Ben's killed the fun. Again. Oh well. We're headed out to go goblin tipping. Wanna come? You're just gonna leave? Yeah, with you. Look, you guys are cool. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm But I need to go talk to Mittens. I mean, Amity. All right. See you around, cutie. Amity, wait. First you embarrass me, then you want to be my friend? I, I don't get you. Pick a side. Please, just listen to me. Just go away before things somehow get worse. Huh? Could have been? With claws and fangs and breaking bones, I found a friend to make my own. Huh? Azura? Close. Is it drawn okay? I kind of interpreted the descriptions. Loose! Ah, right. You can't rhyme friends with friends. Great work, Lazura. Hey, I was trying to save you. Well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna be stuck together forever. No, we aren't. Follow my lead. One. What are you doing? Two. Three. Ah! Ah! Oh. Come back. Now what? I don't know. I didn't even think that would work. I was all like, ah! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. Hey, it's okay. We're still friends. What an adventure. Thanks for helping clean up. This never happened. Wait, it doesn't make up for reading your diary, but... Would you want to borrow this? I noticed you only had up to four. Thank you. Maybe you aren't a bully. I haven't exactly been the friendliest witch either. I'll think on that. Can you imagine it? Me, in the halls of Hexide, studying with Willow and Gus and maybe even Amity. Amity, oh Cramity! We're supposed to meet so I could get my Azura book back. I love you guys. And I love you, Luke. Eh, uh, who needs her? Yeah! Amity, 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 Amity. Gotta find that. Oh! There she is. Hey, Amity! Luce is finally here! Hi, Hi Luce! Luce. <laughs> <laughs> Edric! Emera! Stop bothering her! Sorry, Luce. They insisted on coming for some reason. Because we love you, baby sister! Ah! They've been extra protective and nice towards me to make up for the library incident. And we still apologize every day. In any case, here's your book. So, what'd you think? It was 
fine. So fine, you drew yourself with Malingale, the mysterious soothsayer? This is great. Maybe we can even start an Azura club at school when we're classmates. When we're what? Surprise! I'm enrolling at Hexide. Oh, uh, sorry, but to be in my class, you need to take a placement exam and prove that you've mastered two spells. I know you have your light thing. Uh, do you know anything else? Placement exam? Spells? Quit giving her a hard time, Mittens. Yeah, of course she knows two spells. Right, Luz? <laughs> Yeah, of course I know two spells. <laughs> because if you don't, they'll put you in the baby class. Ooh, brain idea! What if we all train together? We could show off what we know. What do you say, Luz? Uh, actually, I have other training plans in a very far away place that I have to go to right now. Bye! Gorgeous views, magic in the air, and best of all, we're completely alone! Watch out! <gasps> Sorry, whoever's over there! Forget teaching me a spell, just make me disappear. Well, okay, but I've got a 60-40 record of making you reappear. Oh, you meant... Ah, uh, never mind. Hey, Luz! Hello? Hey, it's us! Okay, let's do this. Hey, guys! Who are they? Be cool. If they know I haven't mastered two spells, they'll think I belong in the baby class. What's that about the baby class? Only that it's for babies, and Luz here clearly isn't a baby. Nailed it. Amity! <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm here to train. I'm trying to beat n &M's highest score on the exam. Aw, oh, mittens. That's impossible. She still needs to use a training wand to learn new spells. So what are you working on? Something powerful? Yep, powerful spells. I'm working on one that's so crazy, he does a pretty incredible teacher. Luce, I shall now teach you how to identify different types of snow by taste. Well, go on, eat the snow. Is this some kind of special magic? <clears throat> I don't think the Owl Lady wants to show us any of her powerful spells. <laughs> Oh, brain freeze, brain freeze. See you around, human. Good luck with your, uh, training. Aw. Ida, can you please take this seriously? <laughs> Ida! Luz! What did we miss? And what are you doing with my wand? Um... Mittens, we've got bigger problems. <laughs> Can we keep him? It's no bad, but we could try. You got it! Now finish it off! I'm on it! What? Did you use this all up? I... I didn't know! Come on, Luz! Do those powerful spells you were talking about! But I don't... Actually, no, any. Patrick, uh. ah! Emera! No! <laughs> what do we do? I am going after them. You are staying here. But the beast has Ida. And because of you, it also has my brother and sister. Now stay put. You'll only get hurt. Hemity! Wait! Stupid island! Luz! Hello! Uh, how did you get past the barrier? Magic! Literally. Now, forget that, because you and I have to work together if we want to save everyone. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Work, kiddo. Stop! <sighs> so, it looks like we'll be in the same class. Azura Book Club? Azura Book Club? As long as it's a secret club, okay? It's not a secret. We're gonna tell everyone. <sighs> <sighs> All right, your adorable banter is literally making me sick. Let's go home already. Hey, Luz. Congrats on getting in. And not being in the baby class. Thanks, Amity. Up top. 
Bleh. Wow, my first day at Hexide. Ah, I love secret rooms. Where do the doors go? So you two go to the same school now. Uh, that doesn't change anything. <sighs> huh? So this is the Owl House. Yep. And you sleep here? When the Night Critters allow me to. Gus has a lot on his plate. Amity, you have to go with me. Willow might not want me in there. You set everything in there on fire. You have to help. <sighs> okay, I'll do what I can. All right, bold choice taking the girl who caused the mess. Wow. When you're done, ring that and I'll cast you back. Oh, and keep an eye out for her inner Willow. She's the gatekeeper of emotions and memory. She might help you. Now, here we go! Ew, I mean, aww! Hey, you okay? Yeah, I just, I can't believe I almost erased all this. I really messed things up. Don't worry, we've gotten really good at fixing memories. I won't rest until we've got this all sorted out. Repeat after me, we can fix this together. Come on. We can fix this together. Heck yeah, we can! I know some of these memories must be painful for you, but what happened to you guys? And why are you trying to hide it? I just... Let's skip it. Where's Ida's bell? Amity, you gotta stop being weird. We have to fix all of them. Unless... There's something in there you don't want me to see. Look, I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to help Willow. Help? All you're doing is prying into your friends' lives. Well, did you ever think maybe it's none of your business? <laughs> Is something burning? <gasps> huh? Woo! Teamwork, baby! Loose? I think Willow should keep her memories of you. The good and the bad. Me too. Then, if it's okay, Amity and I still have some work to do. I put people in there. Whoa, what went down here? And where's Gus? What did you do with Gus? The kid's fine. He's just dead to us. Those are very mixed messages. I'm gonna hug you so hard you'll never forget me again. Yeah! I was kicked out of my last school dance for dressing like an otter, but maybe here I could be your grom queen. That's, uh, not something people usually sign up for. <gasps> Watch it, nitwit. Oh, hi, Luce and co. Sorry about that. No problem, let me help you. Here, your note. Man, you got some quick grabbers. It's just, it's private. Ooh, Attention, Hexide students. This is your principal speaking. Oh, man, this is it. He's announcing who will be this year's Grom royalty. This year, I have the privilege to bestow our highest Grom honor to... Amity Blight. <gasps> our Grom queen. It's Amity. Amity. Woo! Amity! Get it, queen! Don't leave me hanging! You might want to give her some space. Being Grom Queen is a tough job, even for Amity. <gasps> Medieval torture seems like a strange theme for Grom, but hey, they're not for decoration. This arena is where I'll make my debut as Grom Queen. Right. So why don't you seem excited? Because this isn't just some dance party. That's Grom. Short for Grometheus, the Fearbringer. It's a monster that lives under the school. Every year it tries to break out and a student has to defeat it before it invades the town. Ever the optimist, Bump holds a party and calls it tradition. The worst thing is that Grom can read minds and shapeshift into your worst fear. And mine is very embarrassing. If it worries you so much, why don't you tell Principal Bump you want out of this deathmatch biz? <gasps> Unless talking to Bump is your greatest fear. <laughs> no, but that's a good idea. Thanks, Luce. 
<sighs> Put down a tarp, I'm gonna puke! <laughs> Do a fun bath. Ooh, have they announced the victim yet? Yeah, it's Amity. She's kind of freaking out, though. I wish I could, like, take her place or something. <laughs> <laughs> a great joke, Luce. <laughs> oh, listen, kid. That's a noble sentiment, but Grom is a little above your pay grade. Oh! Ominous footsteps. Creepy woods. This is no problem. Loose chop! Gosh, Amity, I'm so sorry. I'm here, I thought this day, oop, couldn't get any worse. Did you talk to Bump? Was it as terrifying as you imagined? <sighs> he said no. I'm Grom Queen. Unless I can find a replacement, who'd want to switch with me? I would. What? Amity Blight, I'll do it. I'll take your place and face Grom in the arena. I'll be your fearless champion. Have a guest! Hootie, no touching! Amity! If that bird tube ever talks to me again, I'm going to destroy it. You ready to train? Which should I wear to Grom? This one says, Witch with a dark side. But this one says, I'm an otter! With a dark side. Luce, you need to take this seriously. If you can't defeat Grom, everyone on the island will have to live out their worst nightmare. You wanna hear my worst nightmare? <laughs> Grom will transform into your darkest fears. What are you afraid of, Luce? Life. I'm not sure if it's nerves or if I accidentally drink some milk, but something's making my stomach squirm. You look nice. Strange, but nice. And thank you, Luce. Honestly, I'm kind of amazed with how fearless you are. You've done things I could never do. Yeah, right. You're going soft on me, Blight. <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> Wish me luck. Luck. <laughs> huh? ah! uh! Stay away from her! <laughs> uh! I'm sorry, Luce. I should have fought my own battle. I... Amity! No! Your fear! afraid of getting rejected. Amity, it's okay. What if I went to Grom with you instead? Really? That's what friends do. <laughs> well then, if that's settled, may I have this dance? Did you want to ask out? Oh, it's... it's not important. We will find a way out of this. Amity! Oh, Luce! You're here! I mean, obviously you're here, this is school. And you go here now, with, uh, me. <laughs> I've been talking for too long. Amity, we need your help. Yes, I can help! With 
What exactly? Basha won't stop picking on Willow, and no one will do anything about it because she's the star captain of the Gret Fleet team. Yeah, this time of year she's extra unbearable. You're friends with her. Can you help us? Uh, the hard part is there's no reasoning with Basha. She only speaks in grudgey terms. Mm. Okay, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm not putting anything down. With a little team spirit and a training montage, we can win. Well, if you think this will work, then I'm in. How about you, Gus? In seasons past, these flags have waved in support of Grudgeby Greats. Now they will wave for the greatest. Me! What about you, Amity? Me? On a team with you? <laughs> Running around in cute uniforms? <laughs> Sweating? I gotta go! Huh. Well, I guess she's out. In any case... Tough practice? I pushed Willow and Gus too hard. It's just, I hate seeing Willow get picked on. She's one of the best friends I've ever had. Winning this game is the only way I know how to help. Did you know... Before Basha, I was the Grudgeby team captain. Really? Well, once I left the team, I decided that was a part of my life I wanted to forget. We were playing Glandis High for the Island Championship. We had a move plan, and it was a good one. But at the last minute, I decided I wanted to do something a bit flashier. I changed our game plan to the Thorn Vault. Good Witcher Zora 2, Field of Deadly Fates? You watched it too? Uh, yeah. It went disastrously wrong. My teammates got hurt, all because I had an idea of how things should be. I pushed them too far. I never played again after that day. Ah! Ah, sorry, I just really love backstories. I know what I need to do to make this up to Willow. Thanks. These are flags of surrender now. Luz needs our help. I know she pushed you guys, and she always gets in over her head. She can be so stupid, which I love. I mean, hate! In any case, she needs you right now, which is sweet. I mean, I hate it, and it's dumb. You lost me. You need three players on your team. Where's your third? Uh, well... Right here. You just destroyed your social life. No, I think I made it better. Ugh, game on! Hey, where's... Uh, Amity! Amity! I think... I think I hurt my leg, but I'll be okay. Are you sure? I could help carry you if it really hurts. <laughs> I'm fine! <laughs> Who's Amity? And scoop! <laughs> oh, wow, sports. Can we have another montage? Yeah! Montage activate! Keep cheering! <laughs> oh no, it's undefeatable. How will I ever escape? Was but a beta test. We can't wait to see you all next week when we reveal the uh, the finished product in all its glory. Amity, you just lost us a lot of money. What's with you lately? I see. Looks like our precious mittens has been getting distracted. She keeps calling me Goops. Hey, Goops. It's already spreading. Hey, Luce. Amity. In celebration of your return, I have brought you a homemade fairy pie. Oh, wow, that sounds so... <laughs> Good. The ingredients are very fresh. Thank you. You know, after everything that's happened, I'm just happy to return to some sense of normalcy. You can't just barge in here. Yes, we can. We are the Parent Creature Association. Luce Noceta, Willow Park, and Augustus Porter. Report to Principal Bump's office now. And you too, Amity. Mom? The abomination situation. The destruction of detention. The rampage of Grom. These are but a few of the incidents that have endangered Hexide students. 
including our daughter. So, the PCA has decided... Ahem. Oh, right. Ahem. These three are bad influences and must be executed. <gasps> Ahem. I mean expelled. What? What? Take this as a lesson, Mittens. A blight always upholds their end of the deal. <gasps> Sadly, I have no choice in the matter. Luce, Willow, Augustus. Effective immediately, you are no longer students of Hexide. No, but us! Good! Amity! Tell them! Good. Now, you'll be taking double the classes to make up for lost time. Actually, I'm appalled that you're not in class right now. What are you thinking? Right. Sorry. No! Please! Uh, wait! No! Wait! No! Wait! No! Wait! No! Wait! No! Wait! I'm a... I'm sorry. I was a coward in there. But my mom... Hey, I get it. You're scared of her. But I'm not. And I need you to take me to her. She seemed open to talking things through. No. No, Luce, you don't have to do that. Yes, I do. Willow and Gus don't deserve this. So, will you help me, please? I... I can't. I have to go. I'm dead! Huh? Hey! Stay away from my loot! Amity? Amity Blight, you are in so much tr- <gasps> Luce, are you okay? Uh-huh. Look out! Huh? <laughs> Amity, get away from the human! No, you're gonna listen to me for once. Luce, Willow, and Gus are my friends. They're nice to each other. They listen to each other. They make me think about the kind of person I really want to be! Ugh, what do you want? Let my friends back into Hexide. Or else your precious investors will watch me rip this thing apart bit by bit. Can you actually do that? Shh! Mm, this is the horror! This is horrible! Ugh. Fine, it's a deal. Just stop with the theatrics. let them go back. I will call every authority I know. I'll make sure they can't... Dahlia, you made a deal with your daughter, and a blight always upholds their end of the deal. Besides, she's getting stronger. Strong enough to become a Covenhead someday. Wise words, dear. Gustafer! Gustaban! Augustabeth! Any of those working for you? You need my library card to visit Amity. Don't you? <laughs> I haven't been doing a good job of hiding that. Huh. Come on, give it back. No! If you give me back my hairband, I'll read you whatever book you want tomorrow. <gasps> Finally! I can learn how to summon the Dark Lord! <gasps> hey, hey, Luz! Luz. Oh, hey, Ed. Hey, Em. Picking up Amity? Nah, looks like you got that covered. Ah, I'm looking for skincare tips. I have a date tonight. Yeah, he needs all the help he can get. After he accidentally texted a poem to their mom. Please don't tell people that. Are they bothering uh, you again? Oh, no. I just came here to see you, and uh, here you are. <laughs> <gasps> 
Edric, your face! It's exploding with horrific pustules! Oh, no! Wait, is it really? We have to fix it before your date or you'll get dumped! What? I will? Ugh, come on, Ed. I was actually wondering if you could help me find this book. Hundreds of years ago, there was a human named Philip Whittabean living in Bonesboro. And he donated his diary to this library! And this might tell you how to travel between realms, right? Yes! My mom probably thinks I'm missing right now. I have to get back to her as soon as possible. Well, something this old would be kept in the Forbidden Stacks. Ugh. Only Malthus, the master librarian, is allowed in here. No te preocupes. Todo va a salir bien. Like my mom always said. <laughs> I'm sure I can find another way. Hey, wait. I never said I wasn't gonna help. My staff card should be able to open those doors. But once we're inside, you have to listen to everything I say. If we're caught, I could lose my job. You won't lose your job. I promise. Well, let's not waste any time. How much further do we have to go? Actually, we're here. Whoa. Let's get looking. <gasps> Wait. Hmm? <gasps> so, we'll be super sneaky and quiet. Got it. Malthus is actually the one who gave me my job and my own study room. He's usually nice, but if we're caught, he'd feed us to the bookworms. I know here that probably means unholy blood-sucking snake monster, but in the human realm, that's just a cute name for nerds. <laughs> the human world sounds odd. Maybe it would be less odd if I showed you around someday. But uh, let's turn back. I don't want to push you. We're getting that diary. Ooh! Super disappointed in you. Like, I can't even process these feelings right now. Gosh, it's so hard for me to say this, but like, you're fired? Amity, I am so. Not right now, Luce. Everything's changed since you came here. Being around you, it makes me do stupid things, and I wish it didn't. It's okay, I. Uh... <sighs> I do stupid things around you, too, Amity. I think I need to go home. Nada funcionará, a menos que lo haga funcionar. Ever since Luce came here, things have just gotten confusing. I'm thinking things I've never thought before. I'm feeling things I never used to feel. Is that so bad? You weren't happy before. Ed, don't pick, you'll make it worse. Too late. <sighs> hey, your roots are growing out. Do you want to dye your hair again? So, how's it look? It looks like you're about to get in big trouble with Mom. Ow. I think it looks great. But yeah, maybe don't tell her I helped. I'm sorry about everything. I'd understand if you never want to see me again. Uh, it's different. Oh, yeah. Mom always liked it green. I thought I could use a change. Uh, how'd you get this back? And what happened? Well, to convince Malthus to hire you again, I had to go through some trials. And categorize some man-eating books. And tame something called a paper dragon. That guy was not fun. Oh, hey guys! <laughs> <sighs> well, looks like you made a new friend. Uh, you're the one that ate the diary! <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Wait, this is an echo mouse. It consumes knowledge through writing and can play back anything it eats. We dealt with them a lot at work. Watch. My journey through the demon realm is far from over. But today, 
I humbly donate my journal to the ages. Entry 1. May 21st. I think. My name is Philip Witterbane, and I have found myself in a world so horrid, yet so fantastic, few minds could have dreamt it. If only those at home could see what I have, but perhaps they shall. For the more I learn about this realm, the more I am certain I can harness its strange powers to return home. Today, I begin recording my journey to create a portal back to the human realm. Thank you, little mouse. I hope you and I can become good friends. Don't worry. You always have a way of sneaking into people's hearts. Oh, moo, sister. <sighs> uh, okay, good to see you. Farewell forever. <laughs> Why did I do that? 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 You're scaring the Echo Mouse. And if he's not happy, I'll never make my way into Amity's heart. I mean, make a portal back home. Uh, we have to go. <sighs> okay, little mouse. If you don't want to tell me about Philip or how he made his portal, maybe you can tell me how to ask out a cotton candy haired goddess. Lucy's heart was torn between finding a way home and the pursuit of love. How do I know all that? I suppose I'm just attuned to other people's emotions. She wasn't gonna make any progress if her attention was split. Amity's smart, cool, and classy. Asking her out should be breathtaking, emotional, and real. Everyone back home said I was cheesy. Can't let Amity think the same. As we stumble through life, gloom knows no bounds. You'll only find love when you're in the ground? Ugh. P.S. I mean the basement. Amity? Oh, yeah, that's silly. Why would Amity be in our... <gasps> Amity! <gasps> Luce? Where are we? I think... Hootie brought me here? Uh, well, this is our basement. I am so sorry about this. Hootie's been acting weird all day. Yeah, house demons get like that after a couple thousand years. It's fine. Listen, about what happened at my place, I kinda, if we could just forget about the whole thing, maybe, I- Hey, uh, all I care about is getting you out of our dirty, weird basement. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> <laughs> Return to the world above, make your way through the tunnel of... <gasps> Amity sees this, she'll think I'm such a loser. What is this? Did you just say something? Uh... No! That was, uh, an invasive species. Me, this is all Hootie's stupid idea. Yeah, this was stupid. I mean, us dating? <laughs> That's stupid, right? 
What's going on? I don't know, but things always get weird when Hootie's upset. Whoa! Loose! Loose! Run! What was Hootie trying to do? Quick, pretend he helped you before he destroys everything! <gasps> he was trying to help me ask Amity out. Oh, whoa. Do you wanna? Mm-hmm. Then do it! Like this? <laughs> yeah, I hear ya. I might be able to help. It won't be perfect, but... Huh? Does it really need to be? Good luck, kid! <laughs> Amity? Ah! Oh my gosh, Amity, are you okay? I'm all right. I was just... I've been wanting to ask you something for a while. But I wanted to do it in the best way, and in the tunnel of love, I thought... Amity's too cool for this. I'm not as cool as you think. Okay. Everything is so crazy right now, and I have no idea what my future holds, but it would be so cool if you were in it. So, uh... <sighs> Do you want to go out with me? <gasps> no, I was so ready. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you can say it. <sighs> okay. Amity Blight, do you want to go out with me? Yes! <laughs> okay! Why is this still so scary? I don't know. Dang, Hootie, you really are something. And Luce's new GF showed her tips and tricks to get more information from that old human's diary. They're adorable and deserve all the happiness! We have a crisis on our hands. Chill, bossy boots. Everything's fine. Does this seem fine to you? Whoa! It's like I have snakes for arms. Please. She just has the common mold. It's harmless. But she's a human. We have no idea how it'll affect her. If I hit the portal key, would I return to the human realm? Yeah. Um, yeah. I am not getting this back until you're better, okay? Aww. Oh. Uh, you got it. Got to admit, Amity, seeing you around more often is different. I know. But I was taught to see every situation as an opportunity. And today, I'll show Luce that I am an awesome girlfriend. Feels like just a few months ago, you almost got her dissected by your crazy principal. That was a few months ago. Ah! Luce! You guys are the best. I volunteer as well. As Luce's girlfriend, I must... I get it, Boots. Just grab a coat. Bellos wants it, too. Well, we can't afford to mess this up. Luce is counting on me. I mean, us. Stop talking like we're a team. You might as well be. The Owl Lady and her pet have nothing at stake, unlike us. You have no idea what you're talking... I was gonna say, you have no... <laughs> Oof, that doesn't look good. Stay back! But what doesn't look good? Seems clear to me. Come back with results, or else you can figure out the rest. No, Luce wouldn't make that kind of threat. I'm an awesome girlfriend. Has she told you that? Uh. We have a lot in common, Blight. We're both trying to show what we can bring to the table. And we can't fail, because there's nothing worse than disappointing someone who thinks you're special. This is really bumming me out. That's just life, Rat. Everyone has a use. And if you don't, bye bye Your friend gets it. What's he talking about? Luce has been sending me these strange human codes. I don't understand all of them, but this one seems pretty clear. Come back with results, or we're done. <laughs> you... Are rad. Fool's blood bad. You okay? Come home? 
Of course. This is loose we're talking about. Hey, go find a better witch to be with. <laughs> You know, you were right. We do have a lot in common. I grew up thinking that everything was an opportunity to justify existing. But there are people out there who won't make you feel worthless. You just have to let yourself meet them. Well, I got into harpy mode and now I can't get out. She also ate like nine voles on the way home. Hey, I had to keep up my end of the bargain. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Amity! I'm so glad my awesome girlfriend is okay. Me too. No king hug? What is this? You are a swindler and a thief! Come here, buddy. I wonder if I could see... Amity! Huh? No, no, no! Come on, Moose, you're on a mission. I can relate. Moose! You've seen Bellus up close. What's he like under all that? Oh, I never got a good look. I heard he's scarred from wild magic. Hey! <sighs> Amity! Hola, Batata. Did you just call me a sweet potato? Yes, is that not a term of endearment? I'm still figuring out this human language book from Gus. Aw, Amity, you're the sweet potato. Uh, so, did that Titan blood ever come in handy? Did you finish building the door? Did you visit your mom? Does she know about high fives too? Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> I haven't used the door yet. I'm waiting for a good moment, you know? <laughs> Later, taters! <gasps> huh, must have left my phone at the Owl House. <sighs> Amity! Uh, hey, Willow. It's, uh, been a while since I came here on my own. Yeah, and I guess it has. Are you okay? So, Luce has been acting super weird, and I think she's lying about her trip to the human realm, and she left her phone, a uh, fun, uh, her thingy at school, and... <sighs> you need to slow down for me. Luce says she hasn't been to the human realm, but I just get the feeling that she's lying. And I can find out the truth by watching this. But I'm not gonna invade her privacy like that. Would you? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Willow? Guess we'll have to find someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, another pest. Sweet potato? How did you know? Book 5, Chapter 8, Azura pretends to kidnap Hecate during the ice festival to save her from the wizard clan. You remembered my favorite part. Yes, but right now I just want to keep my girlfriend from being sent to the conformatorium. Again. Ooh. You've been such a help to me, human. You really are a kind person. And an utter fool! <laughs> what? Palm stings can burn for all I care! You heard, Terra. They want to promote me! Me! She could have been lying. <laughs> That's a risk I'm willing to take. Maybe as a thank you I could give Bellows a few gifts. A troublemaking human and... Ah... You're the little fire starter from Eclipse Lake. And now! You got him! Lose for all the help. You're welcome. I mean, ah, dang it. <gasps> what is this? Oh, Kiki. 
Maybe you can tell me about this? <gasps> uh, don't worry, I haven't watched it. But you did finish the portal door. You did see your mom. And it looks like it didn't go well. I'm sorry. I know this situation is crazy, and I'm okay taking things one day at a time. But I can't help if I don't know what's going on. You just looked so hopeful. You were even learning Spanish. And I thought if I helped out Kikimura, maybe there'd be hope for me. Tell me what happened. Okay. So, I had finished the door, but it didn't look like the normal portal. I must have missed something. We opened it. <gasps> Is Bellows planning something? And why did he say he's gonna meet you again? Didn't you already meet? What else don't I know? What's gonna happen? I... I'm not sure. But for now, we'll take things one day at a time. Journey with us to a world of magic unlike any other! Well, a bit like this world, except toned down for ages 6 to 11. Why isn't anyone interested? The art doesn't do it any favors. Not judging a book by its cover is a baby rule even babies know. Plus, you don't read Azura for the art. There's so much magic in the words. Twice have I tarried at Tanabrak, yet ere have I kept my troth to thee, Azura. Okay, the prose can be ornate, but it's also the crackling emotions, the convoluted magic system, the smell of the pages. <laughs> Luz! <sighs> I heard that... <sighs> Spill it, Hermosa! The author of Azura is having a signing this afternoon at the Book Nook. Huh? You are much less excited than I imagined. Uh, excuse me, I'm still here. I'm just confused. The author is human. <laughs> no, she's not. She's from the demon realm. How do you think I got my books? How do you think I got mine? Whoa! Hey! See? Human. Can the author of Azura travel between realms? Get off me! You guys aren't cute! I still have more friends than you! I can't believe we never uncovered this mystery before. I always thought Mildred Featherwile sounded too delightful to be a real name. Do you think she has her own portal? <gasps> Do you think she's related to that human guy, Philip? What if the author is Ida? She's been keeping it secret this whole time because she's embarrassed by all the spelling errors. Okay, these theories are a little unrealistic. It's obviously your mother as a teenager sent forward in time to train you in the ways of witchcraft. Whatever it is, we're gonna find out soon. <laughs> <sighs> what do we do now, Amity? I don't know. I've never found another store that sold those books. We were so close! <laughs> I think that's her. That's the author. Mildred! Oh, Featherwile? <laughs> ah, follow her! <laughs> Maybe it's Kikimura, and her only way to express herself is through fiction. Maybe it's another shape-shifting basilisk trying to write their story through metaphor. <laughs> oh, what? Tanella Nosa? She's had a name this whole time? Sorry, boss. The jig is up. <gasps> Tibbles? Edited a few more of those author photos, boss. Some of my finest work. <gasps> Loose? <laughs> Metholomew! Oh, calm down. Human garbage is constantly leaking into our water. And about a year ago, I found this box of books washed up on the shore. I've been trying to make a snail of it ever since, but no one's buying! Wait, I'm still getting paid for this, right? Not now, kid. According to the owner of the book nook, he's only ever had one customer purchase from this series. I, I didn't know, I swear! This is the worst scam I've ever run! So the author is human after all. Oh! Were you expecting some dramatic discovery? <laughs> oh. Oops. 
So, are you upset? Nah. The Zoros author may be a human, but I'm human too. Sometimes it's nice to be reminded that you don't need to be a powerful ancient witch to make something special. Well, I had fun coming up with those theories. They were like our own stories. <gasps> what if the Azora Book Club was also a writing club? What would be our first writing prompt? Hmm. How about the mystery of <gasps> what they were up to all night? Did he just make an account? Wow, he is a slow typer. <laughs> He's worse than my dad. Oh, hey guys. I am really digging those outfits. So, how was the rest of school? Did we miss anything? Just had our first team win as the Emerald Entrails. Woo, let me see, let me see. <gasps> what? <sighs> Loose. I have a problem, and it could distract us all day. <gasps> Tell me all about it, and don't spare a single detail. Dad, look! It's the Bonesboro Brawl tonight. And since I'm finally old enough to participate, I, I was thinking... Uh, Dad! Uh, mittens! Didn't see you there. Clearly. So, do you think you'll be able to take me to the Brawl tonight? No. Uh, tonight, they're holding the Emperor's Coven tryouts in town. Your mother already signed you up, and I've prepared a chaperone to make sure you get there safely. You mean to make sure I get there? Dad, I don't want to go to Coven tryouts. I want to enter the brawl and maybe win the champion belt, like you did. I goofed off a lot back then. But you have a bright future and shouldn't waste it on that nonsense. Uh, but... You're welcome. I don't even want to join a coven anymore. And this thing is so embarrassing, I even tried disguising it. Yeah, I actually think Ida has the same outfit. Oh, the Bonesboro Brawl is the one cool thing my dad did before joining the Abomination Coven. It would have been nice to share something with him. Well, hey, I'm here to help. You ditch the tryouts and enter the brawl. What? Come on, you should know I always go for the chaotic route. And if you win, maybe you can use it as a chance to tell your dad that you don't want to join a coven anymore. Did somebody say Bonesboro Brawl? I used to love going to those. Your pops was great in duels. Plus, if you go, you can get that ugly thing out of my house. Hmm. You know what? I'll give it a shot. Abomination, fetch me a uh, rare and, and difficult to find emerald dagger from the night market. That'll keep him busy. But my dad can't find out that I ditched tryouts. Not until I win that belt. Don't worry, I got you, boo. Hey, hey mittens. mittens. We're proud of you, sis. Yeah, you're becoming more of a delinquent every day. All right, Ed, hand over your concealment stone. Like I need one of those. Hey! Don't play games, Ed. I saw you take one this morning. Well, you saw it wrong. This won't take long. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Found it! <laughs> Here's mine, too, for a little extra flair. Not bad. Ooh, so pretty! <laughs> hey, Ida. For our first round, we have Scab, the all-knowing, versus the Mighty Mitten! Wait, how's this supposed to help me? Think of it like tag-teaming a tournament. If I'm taking out contestants, too, you have less people to worry about. More chances to win that belt! Is everything okay? Ida told me it's a special day for you. She did? I mean, it's nothing for you to worry about. Not even worth talking about. Really, I, I just want to help you. Besides, can't let you have all the fun, Blight. Just don't get hurt, okay? Amara, do you know any healing spells? I'm on it. Woo! This is a workout! You doing okay, Yamity? Yeah. This is just a nasty one. <laughs> Reminds me of the grudge bee match. Oh, remember when? Hey, Luz, maybe you can talk after. I need to focus. Oh, of course, of course. I'll just sit quietly with my thoughts. I just need a healthy distraction. Healthy distraction. I'm 
to take a walk. Next time, I am throwing you into the ocean. Oh. It's you. Jeez, did you actually find an emerald dagger? Hey, wait! Gimme is so close to winning, just stay back! Uh, Fine, if that's the way you want it. Hey, yeah. Ugh, it's back already. You didn't touch it, right? Dad filled this thing with alarms. Uh, of course not. Come on, Amity. It's showtime. Now! We're getting close to the end, folks! Will the warden lose the champion's belt? <laughs> Mittens versus the Warden! Now, let the brawl! Stop! This child forfeits the match. Dad? How did you find us? Not only did you ditch the Coven tryouts, but someone set off your Abomaton's alarm. I just followed its signal. Loose. Did you lie to me earlier? I didn't want to worry you. Well, I am worried. You've been acting weird all day, and now I'm in trouble. What is going on with you? It's nothing, really. Seriously, it it's nothing. Mittens, go round up Edric and Emera. We're leaving. But... And if we beg, maybe we can sign you up for the next tryout. No! I'm not going anywhere with you! Either of you. <gasps> Amity? <gasps> Can I, uh, sit here? I've always wanted to enter this brawl. I thought it would be fun to bring home the belt. And I thought I could understand my dad better. But then you joined the competition. And then you tried to mess with that abomaton on your own. And then you lied about it. You've been acting strange all day. Does it have something to do with the human realm? Oh, okay, okay. I don't talk about this because it happened like a long time ago. And it's like... Totally not an issue anymore, but, uh... Today's the anniversary of my dad passing away. That's not an excuse for what I did. Like I said, it happened a while ago, so... I... Didn't want to bring it up. He always brought us flowers on our birthdays, so after he passed away, we started picking flowers for each other. And then we'd visit his grave and... Me and my mom would spend the day together. It's nice, but this year I am not with her, and I don't have any flowers. And when you told me about the problem with your dad, I don't know. Maybe I was jealous or just needed a distraction. I was dumb. I'm sorry. <gasps> <laughs> Whoops, got a case of the old jelly legs. I'll catch up. I don't know what rituals you have in the human realm, but I'll help you pick some flowers and we can do something here. You don't need one. <gasps> I can handle this. Ida, can you give me a lift? You got it, kiddo. Thank you for listening. I can't wait to pick flowers with you. What? You don't want to join the Emperor's Coven anymore, but that's... that's always been your dream. No, that's always been Mom's dream. And you just went along with it. I bet you didn't even know I was dating Luce. Edelin's kid? See? You don't talk to us anymore. 
You're too busy making these monsters for the Emperor, and Mom's too busy trying to dye my hair green. I... I like your new hair color. It's abomination colored. Finally, someone gets it. Can you tell Mom that? I'll talk to her. It's a start. Find any good ones? No, not really. Let me try. Ugh. How do you get it to do what you want? You gotta know what you need. I can't believe I didn't try this first. My head's really on backwards today. Now what? Do you think they'll reach the human realm? Probably doesn't work that way, but it's a nice thought, right? the last messages I got from Luce. She must have typed them quickly because all I could decipher was learned a lot of bad stuff, something something, day of unity, something something, and don't scare him away? I don't know what any of it means. What about all those hearts? Oh, <laughs> those are for me. Hmm. Mom took pen stab, but we're safe. We'll contact. Aw, she said so many hearts. Hope she's doing okay. Is that Amity? It's okay if you want to check on her. I can get to the Owl House on my own. What kind of language is that? The language of love, Ida. But it's unfinished. It just says, grounded, come quick. And then nothing. Ida, are you sure you want to do this? Well, of course I don't. You know, even before the curse, I couldn't stand covens. Only a select few can learn about different types of magic that have made no sense. But if it's the only way to stop this, then I'm gonna do it. But as exciting as saving the world sounds, it's not nearly as romantic as going on a rescue mission to save your girlfriend. I never said I was gonna- Ooh, but you wanna. It's written all over your face. Of course I want to. But I also want to be there for you. <sighs> Can't believe Mom broke it. I'm gonna fix it, and I'm gonna get a message out to Luce. I'm gonna do something. We already tried burning down the factory. That's what got us grounded, too. If Mom would just hear us out. We can shout as loud as we want, but money always shouts louder. Dad would listen. I know he would. The world is ending. No one will listen to us. And I just... I just want to know that Luce is safe. What do you think Luce would say to you right now? Probably something dorky. But also sweet. Like how I shouldn't give up and that anything is possible. And she'd say that I might be scared now, but to not let that stop me because, because every problem has a solution. And everything's been so crazy, we've barely been able to spend time together. And I am not letting the world end before we go on a real date. Whoa, you're right. I would say all that. <gasps> Loose! Sweet potato! <laughs> I'm gonna take you out when this is all over, Amity. I promise. No monsters, no mysteries, no deadly duels. It's going to be the most mundane slice of life date ever. And it'll be awesome. I know. Oh, crikey. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just said that. Oh, crikey. How did I even think that? Come on, Luz, be cool next time. Luz, I don't think my parents know what they're helping Pelos accomplish. Oh, will you help me tell them about the draining spell? Of course. That's why we're here. We? Two adorable little scoundrels trying to steal it. 
but they'll be dealt with. Edric! Emera! Don't worry, they'll just be grounded with maximum security. Don't you get it? You're helping a witch hunter destroy everything! Really, Mittens, I'm tired of all this drama. Sneaking around in little disguises, convincing the twins to act out. Are you trying to make me look bad? She's trying to help people. Hush, brat. Don't you talk to my girlfriend like that! Girlfriend? Oh, no, no, that won't do. We'll find you a new girlfriend. Someone who's not on wanted posters everywhere. <laughs> Really? You're embarrassing yourself. And Luce, I apologize for Adalia. You are always welcome at our home. I'm confused. What's going on? I'm sorry. It happened so fast. I didn't even realize what was going on until she was gone. She... she wanted to protect you. And Ida. Then that means... she's being taken to Bellows. How to fly a ship. Then fly faster! We're barely halfway there. Luz could be in trouble. Maybe if I took the wheel. We don't belong here. I'm not like you! We're here to help. Did you really think we wouldn't follow you? Yeah, girl, get with it. You guys are literally the coolest. We have to get him to stop the draining spell, but he's all for dirt man. Time. I play it every day. I play it every hour. <laughs> I'll explain the rules later, but remember, we need lots of players.
Los. Los, what are you doing? I I have to get Ida. We'll find a way back to you. Go. Go, go, go. I, I can't hold the portal much longer. King! King, you promised you'd play with me. You piggy swore. Loose! We gotta stick together. We gotta stick together. I'm sorry. Not this time. But I can't keep you safe. No. Loose. I'm so happy I had you as a big sister. No! King! I'm back.